All right, welcome back. You are watching the Total OS Today Technology Channel, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. And for today, a look at a new OS or a new version of a popular Linux based operating system called Zorin. This is Zorin OS 12. This is a beta, so keep that in mind if you wish to test this. Let's take a look and see what Zorin has to say about this. Now, this will be an unedited look at the latest beta version. Zorin OS 12. All right, we're excited to announce the release of Zorin OS 12 beta. This is a pre release version. So, again, it is a beta. Keep that in mind. Uh, they say this is the biggest new release in the history of Zorin OS, a new version, an entirely new desktop experience that will make your computer more useful, more powerful, and more enjoyable to use. Zorin Desktop 2.0. We have entirely re-imaged the Zorin Desktop environment. Uh, this new version of Zorin Desktop is powered by GNOME Shell and packs an enormous variety of new features. I have a confession to make. GNOME Shell is not my favorite Linux desktop environment. I prefer Ubuntu Unity and the Mate desktop environment. I think those two, perhaps more Mate, is better suited for beginners. Now that being said, even for a beta, Zorin 12 looks good. It looks polished. It looks slick. So I'm sure once this is finalized, I don't think you'll have any problems running this. My only question is, is this designed for beginners? I don't believe so. Um, one thing about the GNOME Shell desktop environment, it is resource intensive. I am testing this on a dual core Lenovo desktop with four gigs of RAM. The machine is outdated. I realize that and Zorin 12 runs a little bit sluggish. I haven't noticed any crashes for a beta. It's pretty polished for a beta, but keep that in mind. GNOME Shell is definitely not for older machines, at least not in my tests. All right, so moving along. Now, this, this Zorin 12 has been modified somewhat to make it easier. They may have installed um, some uh, specific... Uh, GNOME Shell extensions to make this more user-friendly. We'll take a look at that uh, website in a moment. But you can tap the, um, you can hit the start button as I, as, I, as I call it, or you can tap the super key, the Windows key, and this will tell you what operations are running. Of course, I have the Chromium web browser and I have simple screen recorder to record this. Hopefully, uh, it will not crash. Again, I'm running this. Uh, as you see it, I have not tested this. Okay, so let's get out of this. Let's take a look at what we have here. All right, accessories. Let's see if anything sticks out. All right, nothing unusual there. Um, let me see here real quick. Okay, I just wanted to take a look at something that looks fine. Okay, games. Okay, nothing unusual there. Let's go to graphics. All right, the GIMP, very good image editor. Internet. All right, Chromium by default, very nice. Let's take a look at the Zorin Web Browser Manager. This is something that I believe it is exclusive to Zorin. I believe, if I recall in the past, this will give you choices to install uh, alternative browsers. Now, once again, this is running slow. Uh, it is running a screen recorder, but once again, GNOME Shell tends to be slow to start with, at least based on my previous tests. Okay, while we're waiting for that to load, hopefully it will load, let's go back to Office. LibreOffice by default. Sound and video. Nothing unusual here. Again, I did have to install Simple Screen Recorder. System Tools. Uh, let's see. All right, nothing unusual here. Zorn appearance. I believe this will allow you. Well, it should allow you to change the appearance of your desktop. Okay, so the Zorn. Let's get out of that real quick. The Zorn web browser manager, Chromium, Firefox, Web, Midori. Of course, Chromium is installed by default, and some other choices. Okay, well that's simple enough. Okay, I guess I have the default desktop in terms of appearance. Uh, some other modifications here if you wish. I think I'll keep the interface as it is. 
theme, fonts, and the panel. Interesting that I have it uh, set to the bottom and it's at the top. But once again, this is a beta. I prefer it at the top anyway. Okay, utilities. Let's see here. Uh, nothing unusual. Let's take a look at the system monitor. While that's loading, of course, you have Wine to hopefully help you install some Windows programs. One thing I don't like about GNOME Shell is you're somewhat limited in terms of mouse functions or mouse uh, gestures. For example, the panel at the top, you cannot right click to, to do anything. You can left click. Um, for example, here in these shortcuts, but uh, for example, in Ubuntu Mate or XFCE, you can right click to somewhat modify the panel. You can't do that with GNOME Shell. All right, 1.3 gigs of RAM sounds about right. Let's go back to, uh, let's go to the Chromium web browser. One thing I have noticed in the past to make uh, GNOME Shell user friendly course assuming that you know what you're doing is to install GNOME Shell extensions and of course if you are completely new to the world of Linux you're just not going to know this but I will show you this in case you wanted to try this and wanted to make this a little bit more user-friendly Now I won't go into all of this but if you wanted to try any GNOME Shell desktop environment I strongly encourage you to go to extensions.gnome.org and this will give you some options uh, to install some pieces of software extensions to make your desktop environment more user friendly. Well what else can I say about Zorin 12? Uh, it looks great, it looks polished. Uh, is it designed for beginners? Again, I have to confess, I've never been a fan of GNOME Shell, so that w I would have to say no. It's not that difficult to learn, but if you are absolutely new to the world of Linux, you may want to take a look at Ubuntu Mate, or if you want it to be a little bit more adventurous, take a look at Ubuntu, uh, the Unity desktop environment. Besides that, I think this looks terrific and it seems okay so far for a beta. So good job from the team at Zorn. Well, that's my opinion of Zorn OS 12. Let me know what you guys think. Post your comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. That's all I have for this one. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.